What's up guys, HBAR here, and we're back with another video. In this video, I'm going to give you guys lots of tips on how to instantly improve and get better at Geometry Dash. I'll be discussing three topics and aspects to improve the hardware slash settings, mindset, and demons that you need to beat to level up your skill. <laughs> First and foremost, we have the hardware. This is the gaming equipment that you will need in order to perform and play to the best of your abilities. There are also settings and files in Geometry Dash that you can change that can help significantly. Of course, everyone wants an insane PC that can run super highly detailed levels like Astral Divinity, Ocular Miracle, and uh, Estishon, just to name a few, but all you really need is a decent PC that can run and play normal featured levels which range from 40,000 to 80,000 objects. On the other hand, the monitor is much more important. In Geometry Dash, there are certain physics which make straight flying and other timings hard for 60 hertz players. One of these physics is gravity and on 60 hertz monitors, game modes like the ship actually fall faster to the ground. This means that you need more clicks to keep the ship straight. However, with a 144Hz monitor or a 240Hz monitor, this worry is absolutely eliminated because the ship is much easier to fly because it falls slower. Also, most 144Hz and 240Hz monitors have a 1 millisecond response time which creates less input lag and delay which makes your timing much better in GD. It also drastically helps in other games such as Fortnite with quick editing or Valorant with precise and quick aiming. Now I'm going to be talking about the mindset that you need to have while playing challenging levels. GD is as much of a mental game as it is a skill based game. You need to believe in your abilities and practice the hardest parts of the level. A great way to do this is by using start positions. This allows you to practice the hardest parts of the level and play with the song. Also, the song might get repetitive, so you can play without headphones or mute the game and listen to an OST of a game like Napesta does with hard levels. But coming back to the mindset part of it is knowing that you're capable of beating the level and being confident in every part of the level. This will allow you to go in a flow state. I could explain it, but Nork Bork does it better known as flow state. Flow can be described as an optimal state of consciousness where we feel our best and perform our best. Effects that are often associated with flow are the loss of ego, the falling away of time, and every move and action coming seamlessly right after another in a flow-like fashion. Flow is, after all, the optimal and most efficient performance. Geometry Dash is a game that requires laser-like focus, as when you're in that moment that you are getting far, you have no room for error. Keeping this in mind, it is obvious as to how the utilization of such a mental state, such as flow, could be incredibly helpful to any player. Research has shown that when you play in the flow state, it enhances your skill level of the task at hand. So, this means that you will be learning new skills faster and getting better at the game in a lesser amount of time. Okay, so now that you have the hardware and mentality, but what good does it do if you aren't challenging yourself with demons? If you want to improve fast, you need to stop being complacent with your skill and do harder and harder demons. Now I'm going to be talking about these demons, and before you even get in to doing these demons, uh, you want to do all or most of the non-demon gauntlets. This is very important so you can get used to online levels and the online levels gameplay and be able to sight read levels easier, because the online levels are much different than the Rob Top levels. I was editing the demons and I realized that this video dragged on. It was like 13 minutes long. So I decided to just cut it short and all the demons are listed in the description below. Instead of just making a long boring video about which demons to beat, uh, let me give you guys an important tip of advice to actually improve instantly. So what you can actually do is open like a particle editor thing on your computer and there's a video by Flub. It shows how to remove the particles and your trail. And by removing your particles in your trail, it makes it like a lot easier to straight fly. As for the settings in Geometry Dash, you want to have no auto checkpoints so you can practice your timings and transitions. And you can change the practice music 
so you can have more fun practicing and it's much more enjoyable. You don't want to be constantly listening to the... You don't want to be constantly listening... You don't want to be constantly listening to the most annoying song ever. The last thing in this category is taking out the trail. If you remove the trail of your character, you can focus more on the icon. Tutorials can be easily found on YouTube by simply searching how to change the practice music or remove the trail. As you can see already, there's no particles behind as they go. The UFO had no particles behind it, and nor does the ship. So I think this does look pretty cool. It's a cool little thing to mess around with. Makes you feel kind of like a pro. Flub is a great source for this, and you could also show you how to get texture packs, which kind of just more aesthetically pleasing. So hope you learned a lot, and see you guys in the next video.